look like it. Oh, he's right behind it. He's right behind it. He's right behind it. Oh, 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 oh. It's a bass. It's a bass. He's right there. Let's see if we can catch him, folks. Good evening, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine. Hey, look here. It is 20 minutes till 5. Pretty late in the evening. Just right to, to get mosquito bit like crazy and fish this swamp. Just to see what's in here. We're going to be fishing with a Nico caddis fly. Now this bait right here, which I have it rigged up right here, is a dynamite bait whether you're fishing a stream, a creek, a river, it don't make any difference. But today, as y'all can tell, we're going to be fishing a swamp. A swamp, a shallow swamp. I'm going to tell you something. That is a perfect color. That's mud bug is the name of that color. Most of the nymphs that hatches out of swamps are going to be brown to black. They're going to be a dark color. And a lot of y'all may know, and a lot of you may not know, crappie loves nymphs. And they eat them a lot, especially in swamps. Um, I know it sounds a little bit strange, but in a situation like this, well, I don't even want anything that imitates a minna or minner. Whatever way you want to say it. Alright folks, let's look at her bait right here. I have it rigged up, this caddis fly rigged up on a 1 64th of an ounce jig head. And that's a size 8 hook. Now this bait right here is an inch point five, which is an inch and a half. It's an inch and a half long. Two pound test, high vis mono, tied with a... Uh, Palomar knot. As far as rod goes, it's a sow belly rod, six and a half foot, ultra light rod, one piece rod. This thing is like a, a noodle wheel. Limber as a dish rag. Y'all heard that before, ain't you? <laughs> it's a Diawa Fago LT1000 size reel. But what we're going to do, let's see if we got some bluegill or crappie out here. Y'all can see this is some stack. There's a fish right there. This is a big bass. It's a bass or a bow fin one. Rocky, I got a good one right here. Already. And of course, I got Rocky, my bestest fishing buddy out here. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a bow fin or a big bass, but it's one of the other folks. Rocky, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to land this fish, but we can do it. I don't know if it's a bass or a mudfish or bowfin, but uh. mudfish, grimmel, grinnel, grimmel, whatever. But it's, I believe it's a mudfish or is it bass? I don't know, <laughs> that was your first throw, wasn't it? I just flipped it out there and got lucky. It's oh, a big bass. It's a big bass right here. Ain't that something? I tell you, this is a great, great bait right here to catch doggone fish like this one right here. Okay. All right, let's get him in, folks. Good Ain't that something? <laughs> That's the way to start it out. That's the way to start it out right here. I don't know, folks. I'm just a lucky fisherman. That's just all they are to it. But look at this little bait. Look how I got him. Barely, barely, barely. But that barely is good enough. Look at there, look at there. Look at there, what a bass. On the tiny, tiny little bait. <laughs> Let's let him go. Okay, folks, let's let him go right here. There he goes. Okay. Let's catch another one. All right, folks, let's see how deep it is. After that bass, I'm a little bit rattled up. There's fish right there. Now, this is going to be a bluegill. I can tell. I can tell. 
by the time it hit the bottom, this water ain't but about three feet deep out there in the middle. I counted down to about three and the bait hit the bottom. This is a northern strain bluegill. Okay. Well, there's two species, largemouth bass, um, northern strain bluegill. Now what we're looking for is a doggone crappie. Okay. Let's make it up. <laughs> well, let's get up in the tree like that right there, folks. Do y'all ever do that? I bet you just don't do that. <laughs> That's something old Clarence would do. Uh, Clarence gets a lot of ingrowing toenails, folks. What he does is he gets a lemon and shucks out the inside or most of it and puts it on that toe, covers that whole toe up with it. His big toe is the one he has problems with. Okay. Have you got him? Is that a big crappie? Are you kidding? I mean, that's a monster, ain't it? I mean, let's see. That's a bass fish. I believe that's a bass. That's a, oh, my goodness. Whoa. He got him. It don't matter. We're going to catch whatever we can catch, Rocky. You may get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. Golly, hold that nut. Look at that what fell out of his It don't matter. You got him. Yeah, that's, nice. that's a swamp crappie. Swamp. I mean bass. Swamp bass. <laughs> we got crappie on our mind, ain't we? Yeah, we I'm hung up on something. What you got, dude? I got, it looks like I'll be able to get it back, whatever it is, but let's look at that. Yeah, nice little bass. I seen it flash out there, and I, I thought. Could I that know. have been the fish that we'd seen a while ago? Could have been, yeah. Okay, what's nice little fish? It is done. It. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I got this. I'm trying to get this old. Oh my goodness! If I could get it a little farther, there we go. I tell you, two pound test line is stronger than what you think, folks. That is if you pie, if you tie a Palomar knot. That Palomar knot is strong. That shows it right there. That's waterlogged. It's heavy. And I pulled that several yards of that two pound line and got my bait back. Water's not but about two feet right there. Real, real shallow, folks. I'm not fishing, but about a foot under the surface. That's about it. There he is. Well, what in the world? Let me run up in the... <clears throat> they... I want y'all to look what a big... Look at that little tiny war mouth. Now he hit that thing like he was about five or six pounds. See that little war mouth? Sure is. Look this little, we're just talking about warmouth. Warmouth loves swamps right here. Look how little that dude is right there, Rocky. It's a little bitty. Yeah, it's a baby. I bet there's some big warmouth in here. They love these swampy areas like this. Barzel, I want you to look here what a big old deer track right here. Let's see. He went and going the other way, I think. What is that? Right there. Golly, what you got, Rocky? Is it a crappie? Yep, they're in here, ain't they? Let's see. Nine, ten, yeah. It is. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What did he hit? Did he hit that yeah, needle? Little old thing. Little old... It's a catch-all. I think a catch. I'm telling you, that's a fish catching a little bait right there. Don't y'all look right here. If I can get it, see, he hooks them good too. <laughs> it does. Them little hooks hold. Right there. 
I had to get them. <laughs> it's bent a little bit, but yeah, it got him anyway. Yeah. Anyway, hey, there's crappie in here. There's crappie in here. Okay, here what I'm doing right now is just covering as much water as I can. Fishing as much of this as I can. Golly. Now that's a nice bluegill. Matter of fact, this is a big, big old bluegill, folks. Golly. I want y'all to look right here. What a bluegill. My, my, my. I tell you, that almost looks like a copper nose. Bluegill. I'm going to find out right here. Let's see what we got. Is that a copper nose? It is a copper nose. What about that? Mm -hmm. That's unusual for this neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Especially in that swamp like here. Yeah. We've been catching northern stream. That's a copper nose. See the little copper right there on his crown of his head, folks? If y'all can see that. It is. And it's a lot broader. A copper nose bluegill's a lot broader like this width. They stand up higher. Yeah. Pretty fish. It is. What about that? Let's let him go. Oh, copper nose. Hey. Hey, oh my goodness, we was just talking about a crappie. Big crappie. <laughs> Golly, that's a darn good crappie. Right here in the next <laughs> swamp. <laughs> that swamp's just right there. See, <laughs> we're getting tickled, folks. Let me tell you what we did. We were just talking about that, wasn't we? <laughs> we was working our way down that swamp there, and we seen this here little drainage coming out of there. And we followed this little drainage out here. Yeah. And here's a pond. <laughs> and there's a big old crappie. Nice crappie. So, that means that there's some crappie in here then. Well, folks, that's the end of it. We're fixing to pack it up. Rocky, I enjoyed it. Yes, sir, always. This is swamp fishing 101 right here. The mosquitoes is getting bad. We're going to get on out of here. I want to say thank y'all very much for all the comments, all the great comments. Everything y'all do for this channel. And God bless each and every one of y'all. Hey, man. Woo. Oh, don't it. Mm -hmm. Adrilogen. That's a big word. And I don't think you spell it, but I know what it means. Hey, woo. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good.